And it crashed. But I return uh, a little bit later. I am no longer, it's no longer Saturday night. It's now, uh, well, it doesn't matter what time it is, really, does it? You don't, you don't really care. I've got a new microphone. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind too much that I've, I sound slightly different. I know it does sound slightly different. It's a much more comfortable headset for me. Um, the last one was, was held together with tape. It was also a lot cheaper than this one. Um, the uh, sound in my headset, uh, in, my, in my ears right now, is... Uh, Excellent compared to what it was before. I know the microphone sounds slightly different. Um, I hope you guys like uh, just get used to it and the comments aren't bombarded with "You sound different." And because I've, I've already uploaded like videos with my me sounding like this, but I know some of you only watch the Dragon Age, so um, might be just new for you guys. But I have had conflicting reports about whether it's better or worse. But I think I've got it positioned by my by my mouth, sort of like where it sounds the best more or less. Um, but the position of it of it compared to where my mouth is uh, does make a lot of difference to what it sounds like. So I hope that my testing I got the right uh, setting basically. I also know like a booze I have tea. Mm, tea. You may be thinking oh he's definitely got Yorkshire tea because Yorkshire tea is the best and you'd probably be right apart from perhaps Lady Grey. But no I have some uh, Fennel and nettle tea with me here. Yes, and I'm sure you guys are all very interested in this. I don't know why I'm babbling so much. I guess it's just the mood I'm in. There's a chest, but there's also evil, horrible things that want to kill us. Let's go and say hello. And hopefully this time things will go a bit better. So, what have we got here? Emissary and several other. Nasties. I don't know what that is yet, but I can see you. Um, you stuck here. A herlock. Um, well, you're instantly doing your magic thing, huh? So we'll stop that right now. Uh, on you like that. Saving the day. Yeah, so you can stop that right now. Cheers very much. Go and attack him. You go and get him. <laughs> Oh, hello. Alright, change your plan. You get him. Can I do a little taunt there, Shale? And we'll have some chain lightning in there. Hopefully Shale won't kill the one I'm going to aim at. Okay, I'll have you. Yeah, we'll shove you in there. Shale's getting hurt, so we can heal her. Like that, and we can heal like that. It's nice, and then we'll where do I go? And you're still in there doing your thing, aren't you? How about paralyzing you, mister? There we go. It sorted you out. And we're doing just dandy over here. Yep, we're all good. It is done. It is indeed. Now, I'm going to save it. And before I do anything else, I'm going to stop the recording and check that and see how it sounds. And, uh, you know, because it's new setup and all, so I just want to make sure that everything's dandy. Alright, we're good. I ever so slightly turned the sound effects down of the game. Um, shouldn't make too much of a difference at all. I doubt you'd even notice if I uh, didn't mention it. So, ah, an emissary, Going. huh? Hmm, what's this then? Hilt of a fine elven sword. Partial inscription grows faintly in the presence of lyrium, but remains unreadable. And yep, I thought so. The fool has been following us for three days, but what can I do? I'm sure a city could, a city guard could lock him up for being a sodding idiot, but there's no law that says you can't seek your death in the trenches. There's no law down here at all. I said to his face that if he puts our patrol at risk I'd split him myself but he's quiet I'll give him that topsiders usually assume the uh, end of a blight erases the dark spawn from the world why does this one care that his victory just drives them back on our doorstep it's one thing to face them up in the light he'll cut his own uh, shaft out of here before he fights them in the dark where they live that all delirium will get him so somebody is uh, some topsider some surfacer <laughs> uh, to coin a uh, drow expression, is um, joining these guys, Lieutenant Gant. 
in expeditions against the dark spawn. And you can unlock that. Dark spawn great sword. Very nice. An arrow of filth. I do like that. I need to use these. I am using these, right? Uh, these arrows, because we're getting quite a few of them now. See, she's just using arrows. See, I know nature damage doesn't do that much, but yeah, ice arrows and fire arrows and stuff. So yeah, we'll start using these magical arrows up. At least for a little bit. Continuing down this way. Yes, let's. Hmm. More tea, I think. Don't worry. I'm almost done. Go on then, where are you? I hear you. There you are. Just attack him. And I'm off. No, not Liliana, no! <laughs> Oi! Right. <laughs> this is... I just fancy casting this, even though it's yeah. not much sense really at the current present time, but... <laughs> How are we doing? How about a group heal, huh? Where's the music? Time to kill! Alright, what are your abilities again? We can, uh... You're, you're, you're berserking. Uh, yeah, put that on. Let's get on ah. with this. Nice. Say your prayers! Yeah. We're good. Be this is our path of destruction. Wow, let's, let's take that off. Any loots? Ooh, there's a fractured stone up there. Oh, boy. Hang on a second. <laughs> Alright, it shouldn't be too bad unless it's combined with uh, a dozen other things, but yeah. yeah. Hello. Let's run back down here, guys. Guys. Liliana, you don't you don't be up there, girl. You really don't. Good to go! Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay, everybody kill it. Um you kill it with your well, maybe we should try and use a distraction on it. Or a captivating song. Yeah, alright. Captivating song. Right away. Because you are dim-witted, aren't you? Oh, you're an ogre alpha. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh, call blimey. Get your spells going. Okay, we're hitting it, we're hitting it. That's cool. I don't think I'll be able to do anything like that to it. Um, do you need to get my spell whisper to go? Yeah, and hopefully that's actually doing something. <laughs> hopefully that's doing something. Stuns hostile like unless I say press a mantle resistance check every few seconds. So if I stun him, you know, even a third of the time, even a quarter of the time, be a big help. You will be it hurts. Uh, I'm hitting shell there, aren't I? I am indeed. I try. Go on, dude. Do something awesome. Like, uh. Oh, I didn't put my buddy Skype to busy, did I? I'll do that now. Ah, alone at last. Right then, let's kill this thing. Uh, you're still hurt. Let me just check your healing. And that's good. Spell the bloom. Magic regeneration. Well, that's tempting. Do heroic offense on him. No, I haven't cast that in a while. And now you can. Uh, you got yeah, killing blow. What was that? Do it. Nice! That is pretty sweet. Oh, that finished him off, didn't it? Didn't get the kill, but it finished him off. I like that. I like that. Okay. And the blood spreads all over the cavern floor. And he had some loot. That's good. I approve. 
Fractured stone, beneath which lies some deep mushrooms. Good, I approve. Shale. Lovely. Isn't it just... Oh, no. Uh, Alright, let's go this way. North. Because this is likely... It is indeed a dead end. Anybody in here? Yes, there will be. Um... There isn't. What a lovely pool. Do you fancy a dip? No? Go on! Stop being such a pansy. And now the phone's ringing. Huh. They hung up at answer machine before I could get to it. Well, if it's important, I'm sure they'll ring back and disturb us again. But yeah, here we go. So you don't want to go for a... paddle, huh? Fine. Let's grab these frozen lightnings then. Really upset my uh, mood with that. I was, I mean, I was really getting into it. I don't know why. It was just like it was really in the zone, and then, boom! Real life phone. Somebody demands something. I hate bloody phones, by the way. I do. Whenever they ring, it's like somebody wants something off you. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a rambly mood today. It seems as I join the main thoroughfare in the deep roads. And fine. This looks like the right way out. Wartan Tig. It won't be long now. Yeah, found what he said. Right, let's go up this way and join up the gaps. Hello. So that goes over there. And this joins up with this area. I, uh, may have a cause to apologize to the sister. Apologize? For what? For suggesting that the sister was gullible for believing in things which were not real. Oh, that! I'd already forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. Hmm. I suppose it would offer some comfort to believe that things occur according to some grand purpose. All those years I spent in Honleith unable to move, it would be comforting to think there was some reason for it. Do you know there wasn't? Perhaps the Maker did it to bring you here, to us. You once said that you had no purpose. Perhaps you are simply looking for it in the wrong place. Perhaps. I shall think on this. Perhaps we shall find that purpose here. I think... Okay, I go to the deep roads. Well, it seems like there's only one place to go. Did I even, like, is this somewhere I haven't been up here? That would vex me, so... What if it isn't, though, and I go all the way, I check all the way up there? Can I even get around here? I've already forgotten, you know. I'm gonna go in here anyway. I'm gonna go all the way up there to find one lowly group of dark spawn, and then all the way back here again, you know. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Well, my characters seem completely uninterested in it, so, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Hello. There you can you have your precise striking. Back here, back here, back here, back here, back here, back here. Okay. Zoom out and, uh, paralyze you, I think. That'll work just fine. And uh, i tell you what, we'll throw this just here. <laughs> Might be a bit much, I'm not too sure. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's all good. Right ahead. Thank you. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just stay where you are. Yeah, you're screwed, man. Boom. Go on, Eliana. Take him out. Just so you know. Thank you. She has a touch of Zan about her. It's like, we're all doomed. Baldur's Gate 1 a, uh, NPC. For anybody who cares. Very well. 
could be a little uh, reference to it, of course, because this game is, of course, not all that far removed from uh, Baldur's Gate being like the same makers and all. Largely. I'm wondering whether I should. Uh, oh, hello. Well, I don't see anything up there. Remove all this fire stuff. At least have fire weapons. <laughs> Not bad. Because, you know, Dark Spawn may well be uh, have some resistance to fire. Would that make sense? Just don't order me. I probably already knew that and I've forgotten. Because uh, me playing this game over a series of months does tend to do that. I do, you know, I don't keep uh, concise really, um, intricate notes, even though perhaps I should. And so I've forgotten, although maybe it would be in here anyway, in the codexes. If I just find... creatures... something about, uh... a genlock or something. doesn't say anything about fire. So I'll leave it as it is. I mean, she seems to be doing quite a lot of damage, right? What is in this? I'm not going to have you get your hands dirty. We'll have... Stop poking me. Poke, poke, poke. We'll have Shale do it. In here we have a torso in a bag. Ah, yes. That thing. Asunder. Okay, I've seen this one. Sorry, on this battle legs. Doesn't matter. Body rendered its separate parts, spread wide. That so no life is witnessed, nor heart be detected in this way. The beast can remain for an age as knowledge passes and pursuers live out their lives. I was wrong, no elven hunters didn't kill it. Okay, so clearly there is we're assembling something that we shouldn't here. Putting stuff back together. Found one one kind of fade beast, one that may have intentionally dismembered itself. Comparing notes suggest the carvings was done in the deep roads near Caradin's Cross. Yeah, so yeah, so that's a thing. Hmm. Big cavern. Does it Okay, this is not behind Every us. Every creature have a death wish. Uh, yes. Just don't order me. We have a guy at work who has a death wish, by the way. Continuing my rambling sort of thing going on. Um, he um. Okay, let's get everyone, everyone together, and then we can do chain lightning. Oh, I want to die. We'll just blunder right next to uh, faultless and stuff as we're driving around, because I work in a warehouse, you know, and um. And yeah, he'll just he'll just completely be oblivious to the fact that you might not see him and just like go straight behind you know you or something. And yes, it is your responsibility as the driver to see him. That's true, but uh, you you know it's like thinking that it's a, a car's responsibility not to hit you. No, oh, another wave, nice. Gather all up, gather up. Watch in lightning thing again. Um, just if you taunt them, and you. Oh, it's still cooling down. Oh, I, don't worry, I shouldn't. I will. All right. Uh, do quake. We really need quake right now. It'd be. Oh no, wait. No, no. Quake. Quake would be awesome. And lo, it was pretty damn awesome. Kill it! Wow! Quickly! Oi! You stun him. Uh, let's get a group heal on the go. And I'm off. And um. You don't like that, do you? No, you don't like that at all. Is uh, is that it? Are we good? Are we done? 
Is that it? I'm going to save it now, because, you know, there's a lot of waves of insignificant enemies that... Ooh! A Velociraptor and a Sarcophagus. Shale! Speak if it must. We have to kill the Velociraptor soon. That's it. It's, uh, Deep Stalker Matriarch. Bah. It looks like a Velociraptor to me. Nah, it's not as cool. Okay, you can kill it from there. Freeze it and stuff. Are you, um, particularly strong? No. Let's get on with it. Alright, just keep doing your thing then. Keep doing your thing. Uh, are you Here comes Argrid! How amusing! Oh look, it looks like... Yes, run! Run in fear! She was upset that we killed all her babies. And now she's upset because she's dead. She was wearing chain mail. Fancy that. Okay, well, this is a thing. Yeah, this is something. It's a thing. I know, I know I haven't been making traps and stuff and all these fire crystals and stuff that I'm getting is Whatever. useless. I know. I know I need to make... Okay, hang on, hang on. Is it trapped? It's not trapped. Okay, Shale, open it. It's icky, so you open it. Ooh, okay. She was shot bolts. Don't like that. Massive damage to Darkspawn, but uh, I'm not going to take it. But more damage versus Darkspawn is nice. Death! No? I wonder why there'd be a sarcophagus down here. Well, obviously it's some dwarven dude, but I mean, in this area, there's nothing here. Don't take any of the eggs. They will uh, hunt you right to the coast. Okay. I shall do it. Rubble. Fine. Betty? Oh, okay. Uh, fools and renegades, a lot of them. We accept that there is time, a, a time for ordered and educated treasure hunting, but not when a foundation remains to be cut. What fortunes have they made? What houses have they elevated? The minor veins they have traced have satisfied neither this assembly nor their own gambler thirst. Their actions can only grow more erratic and undisciplined. While no instance have been reported, they will eventually undermine the stability of a major passage. It is the opinion of this assembly that the pro that prospecting be restricted until we can be certain the st of the stability of the deep road. Seems sensible. These cross-cut drifters find their fortune in a trade. Let animals burrow wherever their nose points them. Dwarves are meant to excavate by careful degrees. I'm not sure whether I've read this before. Yep, this is um, what I've seen before. So these cross-cut drifters are just mining where they like, and the assembly do not like it because they may well undermine the entire structure of the deep rods, and that's a, a warranted worry. Oh. I completely missed that. Let's uh, go and find the arrow and see what's there to cash so you know it's got to be good right so much money is yeah, so this matriarch was uh, imprisoned and clearly these guys killed the people who imprisoned it possibly but they couldn't open the cage and therefore she died Though it's only wooden, you'd have thought they'd be able to smash that down eventually. Yeah, it could be another dead one. Half buried in the dirt and grime. Where am I headed? Straight across here again. And then further down there, I think. I'm tempted to uh, just... Uh, mark this quest on my map to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. I know that's unlike me, but um, 
just feel that I, I need to for, for this little section, just this bit, to see, um, you know, if I need to do any backtracking or whatever, or whether I'd be wasting my time in doing so. Where the hell did this come from? Hmm? Alright, Shale, you don't get this. Okay, well, we found stuff. And that is all good. This one's strength. And a dagger, one handed. Oh. Plus two strength, plus two dexterity. Thorn of the Dead Gods. The moment that he struck, the blade of the Grey Warden, who killed Toth, Archdemon of Fire, shattered into three pieces. After the Battle of Hunterfell, the Wardens carry their f carried their fallen uh, brother to Wise Out for a hero's burial, but the broken pieces of his sword were left behind. For years, the shards laid forgotten in the on the battlefield. Steel became etched with the corrupted blood of the dead god, where uh, they were eventually discovered by a uh, Ner Neveran woman searching among the bones for the sign of a lost son. Uh, she sold them to a blacksmith, not knowing that, uh, that, that what they truly were. For ten bits, the smith, however, knew what he had purchased more uh, that he had purchased more than scrap metal, and fas fashioned the shard into three identical daggers, the thorns of the dead gods. They left his hands and were scattered to the far corners of Thedas. But everywhere they went, the horns left misery and loss in their wake. The woman who unearthed them died soon after of plague. The smith fell into his forge. Each person who has held one of the thorns, even briefly, has died an untimely death. I'm glad I read that. Now I know that's likely. Okay, there we go, and uh, that's done. Because role playing, I don't think Liliana would want to use these. Honestly, I mean it's not really something. She needs to anyway. Um, because the other thing she has is this enchanted dagger plus four attack. So obviously this dagger is nicer, but I don't think she. I, I mean, I might have equipped her with this if I'd have uh, not read that. As it is, I don't think Zevran will really care, so I can have, give him that um, along with something else. But yes, I think I'll just leave that as it is. use any of those shields. You can use them. I still like that rapid aim more. Okay. Uh, you don't have any of those. You've already got them. You don't want that. I'm sure I just found some. That. Oh, you're not strong enough. What is your strength? 37. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, but hang on a minute. Plus two strength, plus two dexterity. Oh, and plus one magic isn't really going to help you that much, is it? So, um, all right, so now let's equip these. No, 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 no. I was scrolling through the wrong thing there, wasn't I? Plus one. That is much better. They look ridiculous. But there we go. Efforts, gloves, silverite. Massive gloves. Plus one strength. Nice. Um, I was going to scroll through these and see if there's anything, because you got plus ten total damage. See this core damage? Well, I guess it doesn't do much. Although what I could do... Oh, you can't wear rings. And you've just got that one anyway. Alright. I mean, I could give that to, um... Hmm, that's actually kind of tempting. Harvest Festival Ring. Give that to Ogren here. Although I think he's plenty strong. It's the, uh, plus two dexterity, plus four attack. Hmm. Yeah, and then Liliana wouldn't have a ring on, so we'll even it out a bit. That's good. I'm happy with that. And as I say, I'm just going to just check. So if we make that active, 
not telling me where to go. That's fair enough, I guess. I don't know whether it's in here or not. Mm. He says that's the way out, though, didn't he? So let's keep going that way. I'm kind of glad, actually, that there isn't a... Um, a marker for that. You know, it's just, it's just nice that the game makes you find it. You know? It's like, no, I'm afraid there's no easy way. You don't know where you are, you don't know where you're going. There is no magic cursor leading the way. And I, I like that. I like the option of a cursor as well, but clearly the game is designed so you don't have one for this quest. And, uh, yeah, there we go. The Autumn Tige. <laughs>